Hi, I'm Doug Pat, and this is Drafting Tools 101, where we take a look at many of the tools I use when drawing and drafting. the pencil will indicate the size lead it's designed for. For instance, this one takes a 0.5 millimeter lead, as shown on the side of the barrel. When you need to add additional lead to your pencil, remove the cap on the end. Under that, in certain models, you'll find an eraser. Pull that out, and you'll see an opening to the inside of the barrel. Now, place the leads inside the opening. It's best not to load more than three pieces in at once. Then, replace the eraser and cap and begin to click until the lead automatically feeds out of the pencil. Although I do it when I'm in a hurry, loading the lead by feeding it in the front isn't recommended. These leads are delicate and I've broken more than a few. Lead holders work a little differently. You can load the lead in the back or click the button to open the clutch and load the graphite into the front. Some lead holders release the lead at one time, while others release it incrementally. There are lots of tools to use and learn, and lots of styles and techniques to practice and discover. But in my opinion, what's most rewarding is the whole process. It's about using our hands, which develops our minds, which makes us better designers. So thanks for watching and join us next time as we take another look at the wonderful world of drafting tools.